Hardox. Is it really the hardest and toughest steel in the world? It is as far as we can tell from our tests. Over the past episodes, we've seen this Hardox steel container get abused by cranes, earth moving machines, and even a wrecking ball. This time, Hardox wear plate comes up against its final opponent, Hardox itself. Behind me here is a really nasty demolition tool. These shears are also made out of Hardox. This time, it's Hardox versus Hardox. The question is, can a Hardox steel container survive even this? Let's find out what the experts from SSAB have to say. These shears can cut through almost anything. Concrete, steel beams, all kinds of metal. We have the container made out of Hardox 450 and the shears with knives out of Hardox 600. I think this time we don't need to do any tests afterwards. Hardox 600 is harder than Hardox 450. So this is the death of the Hardox steel container? Yes, I think so. Unfortunately, I think this will be the end of this very resistant container. From previous tests, we see the dent from the wheel loader. We can see the scratch marks from tamping down the slope. We can also see the scratch marks from the sledgehammers from the strongman, and dents from the wrecking ball. But these are basically minor damages. It's time to bring it on. At the Hardox 450, the container is no match for the Hardox 600 in the shears. That container's done. Well, the container could not hold up to the strong Hardox shears, but it took one of its own kind to beat it. There's no need for analysis now. Let's talk to the experts. We saw this coming, and we know that these shears are made in one of the hardest steels in the world, Hardox 600. It makes an extremely powerful tool, but the container held up really well. Well, finally, the container was destroyed, but it took Hardox power to beat it. This is our last episode. We hope you enjoyed these episodes as much as we did putting them together. Thanks for watching. Good night. The adventure continues at hardoxinmybody.com. <laughs>